Stop it, Rihanna. I can't have another one. I have the car with me. Hello? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's all coming together. Yes, it's going to be the best if there's yet. I know, 10 years, huh? A decade, oh, who can believe? Yeah, I've just finished the table plan. The band are booked. Yeah, they're booked. The Gleasons are coming. They booked the coach. No, that's... I, Photocopiers. So fix that jamming. Huh? Don't panic. Don't panic. I, I'm all over it. I'm even sorting out the catering. All right? Yeah, listen, see you on the 11th. The 9th, yeah. The 9th. Okay, take care, bye. So uh, I put together this menu for the big night, lads, for the IFTIS, and I'd love to know what you think of it. Simon has dug deep for this mouth amuser playfully titled Fromage Derelict. It spells out every flavour in each mouthful. This is some really well presented home cooking. This is not Master Chef. That's a bit harsh, isn't it? For the IFTA's main course, Simon has travelled down the Asian Irish route. His terrine is a unique mix of herbs and spices. It's an attack on the senses and the waistline. It's not as light as I would imagine it to be like. It's all quite heavy. But again, I do like the presentation. You've presented like an abstract painting. It has all of the potential to be good. It just has none of the refinement. The dish just doesn't come together. Well, don't eat it then. For his dessert, Simon has daringly gone for a rustic deconstructed rhubarb and custard tart with a flurry of innocence, a dash of regret, and a hint of sadness. The basics you've done today are wrong. All oh, right. I just find the rhubarb too sharp inside. Presentation is ugly. And then your custard is not a custard. It says custard on the tin. Terrible. Terrible. Right. That's the catering sorted. What's next? Listen, Liam, I know that you're upset that you didn't get a nomination this year, but... I don't know who you are. Liam, you just rang me. Simon. I don't know what you want. I don't want anything, Liam, apart from you to stop ringing me every 15 minutes. I can tell you I don't have money. It has nothing to do with money. You're just unfortunate that this year you came up against all the guys who love hate. It's a very strong category. I can't just click my fingers and get you an if denomination. But if you don't, I will look for you. I will find you, and I will kill you. Liam, relax. All right? All right, Liam, bye. Hello? Starry Stumpy. Don't call me Stumpy. I'm just big boned. Listen, did you get that message I sent you about Liam? Yeah. What do you think I should do, Nidge? Look, pay him the money you owe, and he'll get over it. I'll talk to him. I can't pay him back the money I owe him. I'm after spending it all on snack boxes for the catering. Ah, there's me phone. I bet you it's him again. I better take it. I'll see you tomorrow, yeah? Yeah, I'll right, see you then. All right. Hello. Where are you? Where do you think I am? I'm in the office trying to sort out the IFTIS. Listen, are you and the lads okay to do a bit of security for me on the night? Listen, don't talk to me about anything on the phone, but it's all good, yeah? All right, all right, relax. Listen, I'm just checking to see if you got your bouncer's licence back after. The thing here last year with Gabe and Kathleen, remember? Don't mind that bullshit in the papers. It wasn't bullshit. It was in the north side people. <laughs> anyway, listen, Gabe's very upset. I did nothing wrong. Do you know what I'm saying? I know you did nothing wrong. Look, okay. there's the phone. Are you listening? Hang on, John boy, hang on. Hello? I will find you. And I will kill you. Stop ringing me, Liam! <laughs> right, I'm really there. It's all coming together. I just need a theme. Something to tie the whole night together. But what? Perfect. Hey, that nice show. Have you heard about the 
Ku-Klan-Klan-Klan-Klan-Klan-Klan-Klan-Klan-Klan-Klan-Klan-Klan-Klan-Klan-Klan-Klan-Klan-Klan-Klan-Klan-Klan-Klan-Klan-Klan-